Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue triangle ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side lengths uh, of this uh, triangle are 9, 10, and 11 units. And now our task is uh, to find the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are dealing with a triangle that is inscribed uh, in the circle, then we can use uh, this uh, well-known formula. The radius of the circle equals to A times B times C divided by 4 times uh, the area of the triangle. And here in our case, uh, A, B, and uh, C are the side lengths of the triangle. And now I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step, uh, proof. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. I have connected uh, this center row with these uh, vertices B and uh, C. And now we can see OB and OC are the radii of this very same uh, circle. So therefore, I'm going to label them uh, with lowercase uh, r uh, radius. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. The angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And here we can see this is our angle at the circumference and this is our angle at the center. So therefore, if this angle is theta, then this angle at the center is going to be two times uh, theta. So therefore, in our case, uh, if this angle at the circumference uh, is uh, theta, then this angle at the center is going to be 2 theta. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular OD on this uh, side BC. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. If a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, this segment uh, BD is going to be equal to this segment uh, CD. If this whole uh, chord uh, BC is uh, 10, then this segment uh, BD is going to be 5 units. And likewise, this segment uh, CD is going to be 5 as well. And now we can see these uh, two right triangles, this uh, BDO and this uh, other triangle CDO are congruent uh, triangles. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, BOD is going to be congruent to this angle uh, COD. If this whole angle is uh, 2 theta, then this angle has got to be theta and this angle is theta as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, CDO. And now let's recall uh, so Cartoa and we are interested in uh, sine of theta equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case, for this angle theta, this side is uh, our opposite and this radius is our hypotenuse. So therefore, for sine of uh, theta is going to be equal to 5 divided by radius r. Let me call this our equation number 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, blue triangle ABC. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, here we got uh, side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. And in our case, for this triangle ABC, our two side lengths are 9 and 11 and theta is the angle in between them. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half times 9 times 11 times sine of angle theta. And now we know from equation 1 sine of theta equals to 5 divided by r. So therefore, I'm going to replace sine of theta over here by 5 divided by r. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, sine of theta 
by 5 divided by r over here. And if we multiply and simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 495 divided by 2 times uh, r. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 295 divided by 2r. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And in this uh, next step let's focus once again on this uh, triangle ABC. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC by using the Heron's uh, formula. Area of a triangle is equal to square root of uh, S times uh, S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where S uh, equals to A plus B plus C all over 2 where S is called the semi-parameter. And here our A value is 10, B value is 11 and C value is 9. So we are going to calculate the value of S now. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So S equals to A is 10, B is 11 and C is 9 all over 2. So that means our S value turns out to be 15 uh, units and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula we got uh, s equals to 15 a equals to 10 b equals to 11 and uh, c equals to 9 so therefore we are ended up with the uh, 15 times 5 times 4 times 6 as you can see in this next step i have broken them uh, down into two radicals and now we know square root of 900 uh, is uh, 30 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be 30 times the square root of 2 square units so therefore the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 30 times the square root of 2 square units let me call this our equation uh, number 3 and here we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 2 and equation 3. And now we are going to compare these two equations. Since the left hand uh, sides are uh, identical, so therefore we can equate these uh, right hand sides as well. So therefore we can write 495 divided by 2r equals to 30 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And now let me tweak the right hand side. I'm going to put uh, 1 underneath. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now we are going to cross uh, multiply. And now let's divide both sides by 60 times square root of 2 to isolate R. So this is uh, gone. So therefore our radius R turns out to be 495 divided by 60 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And now we are going to rationalize uh, this denominator to remove this uh, radical. So therefore we are going to multiply and divide by square root of uh, 2. And now we can see square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us simply 2. So therefore r is going to be equal to 495 times square root of 2 divided by 100 and 20 and if we reduce the right hand side uh, our radius r is going to be 33 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 8 uh, units so thus the radius of this uh, circle turns out to be 33 times square root of 2 divided by 8 uh, units and that is going to be approximately equal to 5.834 units so therefore we can directly find the radius uh, of this uh, circle uh, by using uh, this uh, direct uh, formula where our uh, a value is uh, 10 b value is 11 and c value is 9 we can uh, plug it in at the numerator and at the denominator the area of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 30 times the square root of 2 and we found this area by using the Heron's formula thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye